In this video, we will learn how to collect employee documents via form and save in Google Drive folder automatically. So I have created a form for my employees in Jot Form Form Builder software. And whenever employees submit the form, the automation will automatically create a folder in Google Drive and save the documents of each employee in a separate folder. Well, you can also automate your document collection and uploading task using this automation. And in place of Jot Form, you you can also use Wufu, Gravity Forms or Elementor Forms and can automate the entire process without knowing any technical knowledge. Want to learn how you can do this? Just come to my screen and follow the instructions. So as soon as employees submit this form and provide the documents, their document will be automatically saved in a Google Drive folder. And I'm going to create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. It is an integration and automation software. You can also reach to this website by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach the link in description box. Now first create your free account where you will get free task to test this automation. I am already an existing user. That is why I've clicked on sign in and then click on access now. And this is how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect from where we are going to start creating our automation. So click on this blue button and enter workflow name here. Provide any random name. I am providing auto save employee documents in separate Google Drive folder. Okay, so this is the name of my automation. Click on create and you will see two boxes in front of you. Trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application according to our use case whenever someone is going to submit the form in jot form application create a folder in google drive application that is why the first application will be here jot form because we are going to collect the form data basically the documents data in Pabli connect here and the trigger event will be new response now the idea here is we are connecting jot form with the Pabli connect first with the help of this webhook url and the instruction for the same is already given open your form in the form builder and click on the settings tab go to integration search for the webhook and paste the above url in add a webhook field okay so i am going to copy this particular webhook url and i will go back to the jot form form builder software and this is the form which i was creating which i have created click on settings as per the instruction then click on integration section and here exactly you will have to search for webhooks and open the webhooks and paste the same url which you have actually copied from the pabli connect and finally click on complete integration and this is how your webhook URL will be saved here. Integration is ready and you have successfully created your integration. Click on finish and come back to Pabli Connect and read the instructions one again. Do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So basically it is asking you to do a test submission so that the form details can be captured here. So this is the form and I'm going to submit this form with some dummy details. Okay, so employee ID. So I have provided the details. The employee ID is E101. Dummy user is the name of the person. Admin at the rate pablitudes.com. Here's the number. Now it is asking two documents, the passport size photo and employee Aadhaar. So assume that I am the employee and I'm going to submit a dummy passport size photo here and also I will submit a dummy Aadhaar card here okay so let's submit the same this is the dummy Aadhaar card I am providing basically the document click on submit and you will see uh, basically wait for the response and you will see that particular data will be captured here in webhook response and yes the response is received and let me even show you the data one by one you can see this is the form title please provide the documents. Let me show you other details. Well, this is the employee ID, the name of the user, surname is here, email address, phone number, and let me even show you other details. Well, we have that passport size photo also here. Let's open that and check it whether it is the same photo. And yes, let me download it and check whether the photo is same or not. So it is the same passport size photo. Let me even check the other document, which was the Aadhaar. Let me expand it, copy this URL, open in a new tab. 
and you can see the second image has also been downloaded let's check for it and yes the dummy aadhaar is here that means the first step of our integration is working absolutely fine now i want to save these documents in google drive folder so that is why i will choose google drive as my second application okay google drive and in action event i will choose create a subfolder now why a subfolder because i have already created one parent folder and within this particular folder i want to create a subfolder for each employee okay click on connect click on add new connection connect with google drive and provide the access of your gmail account in which you would like to save your documents okay click on continue and you will see that authorization will be successful and your google drive account will be connected and if i'll open i can see all the files all the folders which are available into my account will be visible well i have just a single folder only in my file drive basically let me show you i have a single document only that is why it is showing the single document only in your case you will find all your folders here now it is asking the for sub folder name which you would like to create so i am going to provide the folder name as the email id of the person because email id is something which is going to be unique in the above data okay and i don't need to copy the email id of the person and paste it here and read it here enter text or map data so when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the response and from here exactly i am going to map i am going to select this email id okay and let's click on save and send test request and you will see uh, a new folder will be created yes it has created with this particular name with this particular email id let's check this folder and yes admin at the rate pablitudes.com this particular folder has been created and it is now vacant well here the new folder has been created successfully but what will happen in the situation when with the same name the folder is already available in your google drive in that case according to our automation whenever the new submission is received the folder will be created automatically with this email address and this is how the duplicate folders will be created in your google drive so in case you want to avoid this duplicacy the creation of this folder basically the duplicate folder creation you will have to first check in your google drive whether the folder is already available or not in case the folder is already available do not create a folder and in case the folder is not available in that case only create a new folder so basically we will have two situations two conditions in front of you okay first i'm going to check whether this particular folder is already available or not or whether the new folder which is being created which is being created is already available or not so how i am going to do that before this create a subfolder step i am going to cl click on this plus icon and from here i'm going to choose here google drive once again as my application and here instead of selecting create a subfolder i am going to choose find a folder basically search a folder okay so right now i am going to search for the folder in my google drive okay this time i am using the connect action basically the existing connection because i have recently made the connections click on save and it is asking for the name of the folder with which you would like to search for it well i am going to keep the same name i am going to search with the same name uh, via which the folder may already exist in my google drive so i am going to map the same name basically the email id well you can directly search from here also for the email id which i have done match operation we have two options exact and substring so you can read the instruction for the same but for now in this video i am going to choose the exact match operation now click on create basically click on save and send test request and you will see well wait for the response and you can see the response is received and it is clearly showing that 
the folder name basically the file name is already available and this is the file id and we have the rest of the details that means we have already this folder name and in such cases when the folder is already exist in that case we do not want to create new folder we want to upload the files in the existing folder so we have two condition here one is for uh, the folder is already exist and second is for folder does not exist and what should be done in both the cases so i'm going to create this whole scenario with the help of routers okay so basically router is the feature of pabli connect which i am going to apply here and with the help of router only i am going to define this scenario i am going to create the conditions okay well router should be in the last step of your workflow well the bottom step this particular step is actually of no use now so i am going to delete it because i am going to create a folder within the condition okay so let's select the router here okay and with this particular button add root you can add as many as conditions basically you can add as many as roots as you want but in this particular section we have just two conditions only that is why i am going to select the third one and let's first rename these two conditions okay click here on three dot and click on rename and i'm going to give the name as folder already exist okay in that case what should be done in that case upload the documents of employees automatically okay upload documents in existing folder okay and let's copy this click on update okay and uh, i'm going to rename also this particular route and paste it and if folder does not exist okay this condition is actually for the does not exist if folder does not exist then in that case create new folder first okay create new folder first and then upload documents okay so this is going to be the name of my second condition let's click on update and now finally i'm going to start setting up the filter and action step click over here and the first action step is actually the folder exist so that is why i'm going to set the condition for the same and how i'm going to set this condition of already exist well with the help of the folder id let me show you the folder id when i have searched for the specific folder in google drive you can see i have actually received the id of the existing folder you can see that and i'm going to set the condition with the help of this id only if that id is available that means the folder is already exist if that id is not available that means folder does not exist and i'm going to apply the same condition here only with the help of this filter and in filter i will choose the id and from where i will get this id from the search folder step and where is the id here is the id of the folder if id exist click on save and send test request and the condition will be true because in this case we already have the id we already have the folder and if the folder is already available what should be done well it should create basically it should upload the files in the existing folder so that is why i am going to select google drive again as my action step and this time the action event will be upload a file okay basically i am going to upload the documents of the employee okay click on connect again i am going to choose the existing connection click on save and it is asking you the url enter the public url file public file url to be uploaded allow file format are mentioned here okay so read here enter text or map data so here i am going to fill the url of that document which i have received via jot form response and i don't need to copy the jot form response and paste paste it here once you will click on this field you will find the jot form option basically the jot form response here and from here exactly i'm going to map the url of my employee passport okay so in this particular step i am uploading the passport size photo of employees okay now it is asking the full 
folder id basically where exactly i would like to save this document well i want to save the document in the already exist folder that is why i am going to map the id of which folder well remember we have searched for that folder and i am going to map the id of the same folder which i have done now finally it is asking for the file name well i want to keep the file name as the name of the person only name of the employee only with this particular thing okay photo of and here i want the name should appear automatically so again i'm going to map it from the jot form response only and here you can see the dummy was the name of the user give a space because i want to map the last name also okay i'm going to search for the name once again and here you can see the last name of the user photo of dummy user this is going to be the name of my file okay which i am uploading click on save and send this request all right and you can see the response is received let's check the google drive basically this particular folder whether the photo has been uploaded or not and yes photo of dummy user with this particular name the file has been uploaded in the all employee documents and within this particular folder now moving further i have uploaded one document now uh, remember we have actually provided two fields basically we have asked for two documents from the employees so let's upload the second document as well so instead of clicking on this plus icon searching for the google drive once again how about i clone this particular step okay so i'm going to clone it and you will see that how this step clone will help me okay you will see that in this particular step now i don't need to set everything from the scratch you can see the action step has created automatically basically it has already connected and the file the folder id the file name or oh, everything is actually available how about i rename these two steps so that i do not get confused so i am going to rename this step as upload photo basically passport size photo of employee passport photo of employee okay let's copy the name and i am going to rename this particular step and here i will rename it as upload aadhar document of employee okay in this way i will not get confused in these two steps all right now let's fill the details one by one okay so it is already selected it is asking to fill the url well i need to remove this passport size url and here i am going to map the second document which i have received from the jot form response where exactly that uh, url here you can see the file upload okay i have mapped it successfully and let me tell you about the mapping whatever details i am mapping in these fields these details will be replaced automatically these details will be changed automatically as soon as the new submission will arrive this is the power of mapping power of automation okay you do not have to do anything manually now it is asking for the folder id well it is the id of the same folder ke1 in which i have uploaded my previous document basically the photo okay let me show you ke1 okay here is also ke1 and let me even show you the id here also you can see ke1 it is the same folder all right coming back now it is asking to provide us the file name well this is not actually the photo it is the aadhar so i have replaced it let's click on save and send this request once again and you will see the response will be received okay waiting for the response all right the response is received let's check and yes the aadhar of dummy user has also been created has also been uploaded successfully in the existing folder okay so the first step first router step has been done let me close the same and now i am going to add one more router step which has got deleted because we have not actually saved it now instead of performing the router step from the scratch i am going to clone the existing router step okay so in this way i do not need to do anything from the scratch all right i have cloned the step successfully let me rename this particular step also okay click here click on rename remove these things and instead of folder already exist we will write does not 
exist remove this already and if the folder does not exist what should happen we should create folder okay create new folder and then upload documents then upload documents okay remove this existing folder so the name of my router step is folder does not exist create new folder and then upload the documents so we are going to uh, create the folder uh, for every employee in this particular step and after that we will upload the documents let me remove this particular step okay which we do not require now all right i have deleted it set filter and action steps in the previous step we have actually set the condition for when folder already exists in this particular step we are going to set up the condition for from here exactly we're going to set the condition basically set the id okay id of the folder does not exist choose does not exist now click on save and send test request and you will see this time the condition will be false well why false because in our automation this time the id is actually exist in this automation that is why the condition of does not exist is false here now when the condition is false what we should do basically we should create a new folder so that is why here i'm going to click on plus icon and from here exactly we are going to create a new folder again choose google drive here all right an action event this time i'm going to select the create a subfolder click on connect click on add a select existing connection click on save and now it is asking where exactly you will like to save the folder well i want to save my folder in all employee documents only okay let me show you this is the folder the main folder i am having let me even show you all right i have a single folder here and i would like to save the new folders here exactly okay just like that now coming back it is asking the subfolder name again i want to provide the name as the id I want to map the email ID of the person here. Okay. So here is the email ID. I have mapped it. Click on save and send test request and you will see the folder will be created automatically here. But you must be thinking that even after the condition was false, why this folder has been created once again? Well, whenever you are going to apply the routers for the very first time in your automation, the action step will always execute in the first time and do not worry this step will execute only in the first time so this uh, folder has been created in the first time only and when you will work in the real time when people are going to submit the form this folder will not be created once again i will even test this automation in front of you once this automation will create fully okay i will show you in the end of this video all right uh, for now let's continue and here in the second steps well the both the steps have already created we just need to replace the settings thanks to the feature of clone okay close it basically i'm going to open this particular step and this time it is asking to provide the url well i'm not going to change this url because yes i want to upload the passport size photos only which has got selected automatically now i'm going to remove this folder id because this folder id has been taken from the existing folder but this time we are actually creating we are actually uploading the files in the new folder and from where i will get the folder id of new folder from the recent step basically from the last step and here you can see from the last step we will get the id of the folder which we have just created vwj8 i have mapped it let me show you let us cross check it okay you can see vwj8 we are going to upload the files in this new folder and the previous folder was already created okay and finally it is asking for the photo name well i want the same name only click on save and send test request directly and wait for the response and the response is received let's check here 
and yes you can see the photo has been uploaded automatically basically the photo of the employee now i am going to fill the second step basically i'm going to upload the other document of the employee okay again the url will be same but the folder id will be changed again i'm going to map the folder id from the recent step from which i have created new folder and this is the idea of the folder yvwj8 i am going to click on the save and send test request button directly because this particular field will be same click here and wait for the response okay the response is received let's check the folder and yes the document has also been uploaded automatically so this is how with the help of public connect with the help of this automation you can completely automate your document collection and uploading task from your employees you just need to create a form and connect your form with the public connect and first capture the data here in public connect and once you will receive the data simply map this data in the below windows in the below steps first we have actually search for the folder whether this folder is already available not or not and we have two situations one is for folder already exist and second one is for folder does not exist okay and we have set the condition using the filter and you can see first we have applied the filter for folder id already exist and if it is already exist then directly upload the passport size photo and aadhar close it and in the second step we have actually set the condition for does not exist let me show you and when the folder id does not exist in that case to first create a subfolder and then upload the passport size photo and aadhar document and this is how everything can be automated and now i am going to test this automation in front of you and i will fill the form with the same details so that we would be able to check whether the duplicate folders are created or not in this particular google drive or not okay so let's refresh this form and i am going to submit the form with the same details okay and this time also e101 is the id of the user basically id of the employee let me fill this form first okay so i have filled the details and dummy user again the same name the same email id phone number and the same documents i am going to submit and uh, yes the submit the form is submitted and let's wait whether the duplicate folder is created or is getting created or not in this google drive well uh, yes the folder has not been created that means our automation is working absolutely fine basically the folder already exist upload the documents in existing folder this particular router condition is actually met this time and according to the condition what was about to happen if the folder already exist then upload the documents in the existing folder so let's me let me even check this particular folder and yes you can see the same documents have been uploaded according to our condition. condition now once again i am going to submit this form so this time i am filling out this form with the new employee id and new employee details assume that a new employee is submitting the form 102 test user is the name of the person okay the employee email is desk@pablitudes.com all right employee number is here and again i have uploaded the same documents all right let me save let me submit this form all right so the form has been submitted let me check whether the folder for this new employee has been created or not and yes with the same name desk at the rate pablitudes.com the folder has been created a new folder let me even check for the documents and the documents are also here that means our automation is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards whenever you fill the employee whenever you employee will fill this form the documents will be automatically uploaded to google drive in an organized way all right you do not have to organize anything manually also let me tell you i will attach the link of my workflow of this workflow the same workflow in my description box so there so that in case you want to clone this whole setup into your public connect account you can directly do it from this link that too for free 
not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video